All right, so welcome guys. I'm just gonna perch, perch on a little blanket and I'm gonna change the cross of my legs. Um, and just, it's a little brain gym. Good. And nice, I'm just letting your fingertips just touch the earth for a moment. And you can even start to close your eyes once you settle here. Just keeping yourself nice and long, connecting your fingertips to the floor. You can even soften your jaw, your eyes. Just as you're resting in this seat, take your tongue and just um, draw the tip of the tongue along the hard palate at the roof of the mouth until you get to the soft part. And once you get to the soft part, just press the tongue up and notice the effects of, you feel maybe you get a little taller and then you can let the tongue relax and just keep that space. You can do it again if you like. Taking the tip of the tongue to that space of between, you know, just past the hard palate to the soft palate is, you know, connected right through. If you went straight up, you'd hit the pineal gland, the main gland, and all the way right out through the crown of your head. So, we'll inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart with great resonance, with honoring, with this great um, intention of connecting. And also understanding that, you know, life is unfolding as it will. And that doesn't mean we are passive, you know, we engage, but we also understand that the ups and the downs, the hard times and the easy times are all the same in their own way. It's an opportunity for growth, an opportunity to be present and to be supportive for yourself, for those in your life. And as you sit in your stillness, this moment with anything that's happening around you or within, without. We invite in, we invite in this place of equanimity. Like a lake, and you throw a rock in the lake and you get the ripples and then they just disappear. And the lake becomes still. So just take one more full breath in, maybe a sigh it out, release of that breath, and we'll open practice and chant OM together three times. I'm actually going to change the word OM to the word love, and we'll just send out so much love right from our hearts. So inhale. Love. chin, the love in your heart, the love of your offering, self-love of your practice. Release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin, and open your eyes. Okay, friends, so we're going to start standing. I don't know how you feel about that. I, I, I say that because, you know, I remember in the early days, maybe even not, sometimes still, <laughs> if I'm in a class and they start standing up, you're like, ugh, but, you know, that's what we're going to do, so <sighs> let's do it. Good. All right. And once you're up, I've, I've brought my blocks to the front of my mat. 
I'm facing you. You can face whichever direction you like. And just starting, you know, in mountain pose. So that is just standing there. But check your feet. Maybe you can spread your toes and anchor your feet a little bit. You know, every time I spread my toes, I spread my fingers. It's like, can I get that to happen? And then we'll anchor the feet. Once you have the feet placed, press down into the floor and let that rebounding action travel up your legs. Maybe even lifting the low belly. And, you know, I say lift the low belly, but if you lift the low belly, you feel your tailbone tucking. Let's see if maybe you can take even your hands to the tops of your thighs and just encourage them to move back a little bit. Maybe you feel like, oh, I'm sticking my butt out, but that's kind of what we want. And then keep that and let the tail drop. So it's not a tuck, it's just a, oh, a little. You can even take one hand to your sacrum and one hand to your low belly and just invite in that equilibrium here. So it's not the belly tilting or the back tilting too much. Just Feel. And here, when you hit that, you might notice the toes become a little lighter. You might even lift your toes up off the floor. And then just release your arms down by your sides, turn your palms to face out. So we just open the chest a little bit. Lift your heart. And you can close your eyes or just look at the floor. I just want to play a little bit with the breath here. So you feel as you inhale, you know, the chest lifts. And as you exhale, maybe you feel that breath down the length of the spine and the tail just dropping. And we'll just do that for a few rounds. Just feel. And you might even notice to lift the chest, you anchor the feet a little more. And to drop the tailbone, maybe the feet soften. Good. Okay. From here, I'm going to take the arms out to the sides and up over the head. And you stop any place your shoulders say that's enough. But if you can take it all the way up, palms face out, spread your fingers. Again, eyes can be closed or just very soft gaze. And be with that, you know, extension as you inhale, the lift of the heart, the lift of the arms. And as you exhale, the softening of the shoulders, of the spine, of the tail, the feet even. Just be with this expansion and this contraction in the whole body. One more time. Good. And then inhale here. As you exhale, just release the hands down. Let's take them to the hips. And I just want to pause here for a moment with your hands on your hips. or So you have the small of your waist in your hips. And so just feel your hip bones. Press down with your hands. So you're just... Anchoring here and I'm just pushing down at the shoulders drop. Okay, we're going to take forward fold. I want you just to feel your feet. See if you need to maybe take them apart a little bit more. And then you have the blocks if you need them. We'll inhale, lift yourself tall and find that extension. And as you exhale, I'm just going to press the hands into the hips back. Maybe you bend your knees and you just slowly start to come down. And do whatever you need to here, you know, very first out of the gate. How is this? So use your blocks if it's too, you know, bend your knees, find whatever it is. And then be open to, oh, you know, I'm in this. I need to sway or I need to bend my knees. Bring in whatever movement your body says it needs. And then very slowly, I'm going to start to invite the crown of the head to face the floor. And you just take your time, you know, if it's too early for that or you need to keep your head up, that's fine. Just be in whatever place you are, you know, close your eyes or gaze is soft. You can even be looking wherever your eyes are aimed. Okay. So just opening the backs of the legs here. One more breath. Okay, I'm going to sit down in the legs and then the arms, maybe the hands are going to come to the thighs first or maybe they'll open up to the side. We'll inhale, come up through the strength of your legs. Maybe the palms come and touch over your head and then you bring your hands all the way back down by your side. And we'll just be here so we feel this little bit. Good. Okay, let's do the exact same thing. 
So as you inhale, sweep your arms straight up to the sky. Take a full breath in. As you breathe out, keep all that length. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, press down into the hips, lift the heart. As you exhale, bend your knees, take the hips back. You can put your hands on the tops of your thighs and push them back. Push back. As you come down, wherever you're going, you know, you might keep your hands here. That might feel really, oh, that feels good. And you can lift the shoulders or put your hands on the floor, on your blocks. Okay, feel into your feet. And without moving your, your feet, press the inner heels to the outer heels. And so it's almost like, you know, you're coming more onto the outer edges of your feet. And just notice if you feel that all the way up into your sit bones or your thigh, inner thighs widening. Take one more breath. Good. And then we're going to come up again. So do that however you need to. You know, you open your arms or you roll yourself up, whichever way you want to come up. Once you're here, just pause as you exhale. You might feel a little dizzy. Just be with that. You know, the dizziness thing is interesting because, you know, for sure going up and down can make us dizzy. But if we never do it, right, we never work through it. So be here and know you can work through it. And then on your next inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Maybe you look up. And as you exhale, take the hands to the tops of the thighs or the hips, either one. Inhale, lengthen and exhale with great intention. Slowly come down like it's the greatest thing. You know, let the hips come back, the tush back. And if the head, crown of the head can face the floor, great. If that's not good, that's fine too. You know, you do what you need to do. Breathe here. So I'm keeping my hands on the thighs and lift the shoulders up. If you're here with me, oh, actually, let's go to the heels first before I move on. Press the inner heels to the outer heels, whatever shape you're in. See if you can even widen your inner thighs, outer thighs, like you're opening your seat. You might feel that. Now I'm going to take my hands, interlace them, and I'm just going to lift them up. And you could even keep them bent. You could just keep your arm. You don't have to interlace. You just reach up to the sky. Good. Okay. Sometimes this can get you in your solar plexus. So just take a few breaths. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Good. We'll release the hands to the floor. And I'm coming to a downward facing dog. If that's child's pose for you, that's fine. And let's take a few moments. Again, I'm just opening up the backs of the legs. I'm just going to use this downward dog to do that. And we're going to push the heels of the hands away and press the thighs back. As if I had my hands still on the tops of the thighs or your hands on your hips, imagine you're pressing that away. Press your heels towards the floor, even if they're nowhere near that. And if they do touch the floor, then back up. Walk your feet back. Find a new place. Okay, lift your knees. You can do that. Okay, let's take one more breath. And then we'll lower down to hands and knees. And I'm just going to sit here. So if you need to, you know, move yourself into cross-legged, that's fine. I'm going to bring the knees together, bring the feet together, and then sit on your heels. And if the feet, if the heels move out, that's, you know, be wherever you need to be. If you need to throw a blanket in, take, take the time. I'll just show you that. And oh, okay. Let's pause here. Nice. Okay. Soften anywhere you can. Be with your breath. Good. One more breath here. Okay, I'm going to add the hands, so we'll come down. We'll take the hands down. If you need to put them on your blocks, you could do that too. And I'm starting with the fingers, and then you'll just lift up, bring the whole palm down, and walk, you know, make it what you need to. If you need to turn your hands out, if you need to still sit and just, you know, be there in the stretch. And if you have the whole hand down, spread the fingers. See if you can spread the fingers. And move the shoulders away from your ears a little bit. Or extend your head forward. Be here. I'm adding a little bend in my elbows. 
just to find more of a stretch. And now I'm gonna take the, as if I'm doing cat pose, let's say that. I'm gonna draw the mid belly in. See if I can even drop the head a little bit. Ooh, that makes things so interesting. <sighs> take one more breath. And tuck your little toes under. We're gonna to come to sit on the heels. I'm gonna peel the hands off, see if I can give the fingers a little stretch before I take them off the floor. Good, take two more breaths if you're here with me. And then we're gonna sit on the toes. So again, you know, find your place. Be where you need to be. Breathe. Good. Okay, one more breath. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling in your toes is yours. And then come back down. We're just gonna smack the feet out. So I'm just gonna come up a little bit and then just give them a little bit of this on the tops of your feet. Get everything jiggling. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna come into bent knee lunge. So I'm just gonna grab the blocks, put them on their highest height. Yeah, and then they'll just step the right foot between the hands, just coming to this bent knee lunge. Okay, if you need something underneath your left knee, take a moment and do that. And then some of you might even walk this left knee back a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna feel anchored into your feet. So the back toes are tucked under, front foot is nice. I'm coming up. So I'm gonna take the hands to the hips. Okay, so be here. So you can even take that solar plexus back. And and I'm gonna reach the arms up. So if that's okay for you, take a few breaths here. Yeah, okay. So stay as you are, keep the right arm lifted. Let's take the left hand to the front of this left thigh and imagine you can press it back. So that's a little untucking of the pelvis, almost like you wanna push your tush back. And then keep that and see if you can come forward a little bit if you need to put the right hand on your right thigh, go ahead and do that. Good, take one breath. And then release hands to the walks or to the floor. And I'm gonna lift the back leg up. Yes, okay, I'm gonna take a little twist here. Press back into that left heel. You might even wiggle it back. Lift the left thigh a little bit. Here's a little trick. If you look at your left thigh, it's going to lift there's that cat pose. So you kind of keep that, lift your head back, keep the left hand where it is, take the right arm up to the sky, be with your breath, hug the hips, and look up or look down. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of pulsing here in the legs. So as I inhale, I'm just gonna, as if I'm straightening the legs, and exhale, bend. Do one more, and then take both hands to the blocks, Okay, I'm gonna step forward. So I'll just take that right foot back a little bit. Take the left foot forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. And then as you inhale, come all the way up in your own way. Touch the palms over your head and then release arms all the way down by your sides. Take a few breaths here. Good. Okay. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna fold. You put your hands wherever you like. I'm going to the thighs. I'm just gonna press them back. Be in the forward folds here as best as you can, whatever that means for you. I honor that. I'm gonna take the hands back over the head. I'm gonna change the interlace. Move the shoulders away from the ears. And lift the arms. If that works for you, do it. I'm gonna add the press of the heels out. I'm gonna take the shoulders away from your ears if you're interlaced here. One more breath. Good. Exhale, release your hands to the floor or to your blocks, and we're gonna step back again, downward facing dog. Let's do this. Notice which leg you're stepping back with first. So if we do this again, you'll know. And then be in your dog for five breaths. Whatever that means, bring it in, do your movements, be static, it's all fine. Explore your dog. Two more breaths. Good, okay, lift your heels so high. Lower your knees to the floor. 
Let's take child's pose. So I'll put the tops of the feet down, bring yourself back. And maybe the arms stay extended so we get nice breath through the sides of the body, but you know, make it your own. Always honor your own practice and you are your own best teacher. Good. Good. Let's just take two more breaths here. Notice what you're experiencing, the tops of your feet, your knee joints, your hip joints, your ankle joints. Good. Okay. And then inhale, rise up. Let's do it through cat pose. So arch your back as you come up. And then once you're here, tuck your toes under, drop your belly, exhale into your cow pose. And let's just do cat cow a few rounds. Good. Good. Let's do one more. Nice. All right. And then here I'm going to put my hands on the blocks and the left foot is going to step forward. So find your bent knee lunge in your own, you know, whatever it is, walk the knee back, you know, find it. And then I feel into the feet. I'm going to really anchor the feet and let that be the lifting guide. So you come up. I'm going to take the arms up, but you know, if you need to keep them down, honor that. Okay. So you're here, even amid the wobbling, keep the left arm lifted or put it on your left thigh and the right hand is coming to this right thigh. And I'm going to press it back. So there's an untucking that needs to happen. Like I'm taking my tail back and that might give me space to come forward a little bit. Good. Okay. Inhale. And now release your hands back to your blocks or to the floor and we'll lift the back knee up and come into this lunge. Okay, so wiggle your if you need to wiggle the back foot or whatever or take it in. Push out through the heel and we want to lift that right thigh. So if you look at it, that action will happen. And then once you have that lifted, come back to lunge. Lift your left arm up in the air and then be here, but feel free to pulse. You know, this lifting and lowering, reaching, receiving. Good, last one. And then we'll take the hands down. Again, I'm gonna step forward again. So left foot comes back a little bit, right foot comes forward. Inhale and exhale, fold into this forward fold. Do whatever you need to do, you know. You can rest your forearms on the blocks if you like that. And just in this forward fold, let's just go through like a bending and a straightening in whatever capacity works for you. Feel it is opening the backs of your legs. You're lengthening your spine. Good. Okay, last moment here. Good. All right, and then just drop in. We're gonna come all the way back up. So however you like to do that. You know, if you wanna roll, you should put your hands on your thighs and let the tail drop, roll yourself all the way up, wherever you go. And then just be here for a few moments. Good. Feel your heart beating, your vibrancy, anything that's happening, shaking. You know, it's all good. Good. Inhale, sweep up. This time as you exhale, just take the hands to the hips. We'll just stay here. Okay, I'm going to grab that back foot. Well, it's not a back foot. I'm going to grab my foot behind me. So if you need to use your wall, you know, go find your wall. And if you're good to kind of just balance there in the middle of the room, then here we go. Yes, that's it. Okay, so however you're ready, <coughs> feel into your feet, move the heels, like without moving the feet, just press out. Shift the weight onto, let's start with the left foot. Standing on the left foot, right arm comes out to the side, and then we bend that right leg, catch the foot. Then you squeeze the knees as best as you can. They don't have to come right together, but bring them together, press down through that right knee. Okay, be wherever you need to. Again, you know, you could hold on to the wall. Okay, so I have my hand on the big toe side. That's just gonna open the shoulders. Whatever side you're on is totally fine. Push the foot into the hand. Maybe the left arm can come up to the sky. One more breath. 
you know, all the wobbling, it's all the learning. Okay, I'm gonna release into tree pose. If you need to put the foot down first, do that. Or just go ahead and find your tree and holding onto the wall, whichever one. Be in your shakies. You know, we're in all this energy. Ooh, new moon, solar eclipse, ring of fire, all these things, Mercury retrograde. I love to think all those things affect your balance. Okay, steady yourself as best as you can. Ah. One more breath. Okay, I'm gonna release by hugging this knee into my chest. So if you need to put the foot down first, that's fine. Or just see if you can come here. Ooh, squeeze, even the balancing, the wobbling, it's all fine. That's just good lessons for the ankle. Okay, one more breath if you're still in it. Ah. And then release and rest. So just feel that, close your eyes or rest your gaze. Good. Okay, let's let all of that go. You know you're gonna do it again. Okay, let's start by lifting the arms, reach up. Let's exhale into a forward fold, just cause that's our pose for the day. Be here, two breaths. Notice how good maybe this feels, more open. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up. And again, you know, maybe you bend your knees a lot and roll yourself up or you open your arms, come up in whichever way your body says it wants to right now. And then release your arms. Just let that be a reset. Okay, knowing we're gonna balance now on the right foot, so you can use your wall or not. Right hand to your hip, left hand out. Grab it and then Compact it like a tree. You just find everything. The lift, the feet, the crown of your head. And then if you feel steady, the right arm can reach up. Breathe and push the foot into the hand. Let's take two more breaths. Even if you're falling. Even if you're, I'm wobbling like crazy, it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go to tree. So I'm gonna try and do that. Whatever happens, no attachment, fluctuations, you know, the ups, the downs, still smiling, here enjoying <laughs> whatever's happening. Good. Okay, two more breaths. Even if you're falling out, stay with the breaths. And then from here, I'm going to try and bring that knee in front. So drop your gaze, bring it. Maybe you can grab it or even behind the thigh, pull it in, flex the foot, strong on your right leg. Yep, pressing the right thigh back a little bit. One more breath and then release. And then just stand and give glory. All the shakies, you know, the beating heart, the warmth, all of that. All right. Coming back to forward fold. Inhale, reach up. And exhale and fold whatever way makes sense for you. Hands on blocks, hands on the floor, hands on your thighs. Drop in. Okay. This is like gonna be our, we're resting here. So as best as you can, find the rest. Okay, I'm just gonna turn myself to the long side of the mat and you could do that too. We're gonna step the feet wide for a wide-legged forward fold. I might even jump them, give them a little jump. And how you take your feet however wide you, you need to. And then we'll inhale, lift your chin. You're just going halfway, press your thighs back and exhale, fold down wherever you need to be here. If you need your blocks, you know, bring them in. You can support yourself on your blocks or, just let yourself go. Think of crown of the head towards the floor if that's gonna happen. Maybe you can take your hands, you know, back between your feet. Okay, I'm gonna take that same thing with the heels. I'm pressing them out, thighs out, widening the sit bones. Good. Okay, come back up onto your hands. I'm just gonna walk my hands over to the right, turn your right foot out a little bit and bend into your right knee. 
Yeah, so you're just, so the left foot is still, I know you can't see it. It's parallel and I'm pushing out. And then just walk your hands over, adjust your right foot, turn the left foot out, maybe like halfway, and then bend into the knee and just press your feet. Yes, okay, good. And then let's go back over to the right side. <clears throat> so same thing, adjust your feet, bend it over. And then here's where you might just stay here. You push the tush back, but maybe you're gonna keep going. So if I keep going, I have to, I'll lift that back foot. And I, I'm all the way down here. You know, it is like a half squat, half lengthening. It's a lot. So you just keep your hands down, go down as far as you are able to still breathe and smile. Good. Okay, if you're in it with me, let's take a little twist here. Lift the left arm, right hand can stay down. And it's all fine. Going over to the second side. So then the hands, yeah! And then we just walk it over. You know, challenging, no hands. Oh. So challenging. <laughs> you just be wherever you are. And then wherever you need to be here, just breathe. Be in your place. You're getting the stretch. It's all happening. And if you're okay to lift the right arm, you know, it's a big thing. So be where you need to be. And I'm going to come back up. No hands. Oh, so challenging. I might have to cheat a little bit. Now I'm going to come with the here. You can walk your feet in a little bit or out. Just maybe sway a little bit. Lift your heart. Breathe. Good. All right. And then just come back to your forward fold. We'll just walk it around. I'm coming back to downward facing dog. If that's there, you want to go to child's pose. All fine. This is our resting place. Breathe. Press your heart back to your thighs. Yes. Okay. Lower onto your knees. Let's just take three breaths here on hands and knees. In between cat, in between cow, feel the tops of your thighs pressing back. Good, and then exhale into your child's pose. And if you wanna throw a block under your head, if that's a nice thing to help you be more present here or something between your hips and your heels, take a moment and invite that in. Good. Breathe here. Really surrender. Maybe even turn your palms up. If, if your hands are out in a place where you can turn them up. Maybe you can tune into your heart beating. The energy in your legs. Gonna come up to sit. So you're just gonna sit, maybe let's just go cross-legged. Okay, so just come up and sit on something if you need to. And just sit cross-legged. So I'm sitting on a blanket, and let's um you might not all need your strap, but you might some of you might use it. So you could just have your strap handy, and then once you're settled, just let your eyes close or Look down at the floor and let's just take a few moments to just settle. Put one hand on your heart if you like, or one on the small of your back or your tummy. And just be in this space. Just slow everything down. So just take the hands down by your sides. We're gonna stretch the legs straight out. Yes. Okay. Let's just point and flex the feet a few times. Just you know, we have these nice open back. I you know I just always add the hands with the feet. So it just happens. Probably because I was a preschool teacher for so long. Okay. And then just come to sit. As best as you can, flex your feet. Now I'm gonna spread the toes, and press the big toe, follow the foot forward, and just pulling the baby toe edge back a little bit. And that might fire something for you. You really need to be. And all right. 
So then just stay here, you know, feel your heels on the floor. I'm gonna take the hands to the thighs. I'm not pushing down. I just wanna offer the same work of the thighs, just dropping, you know, you might even feel like, you know, there's a change in the small of your back as these start to melt. And then on the exhale, we'll just start to come forward. And you, you know, you have your blocks nearby. You know, maybe if you can get close enough here and you want to support your head, you could use your blocks. And if that is nowhere near even going to happen today, and just really focus on that dropping of the head. You know, if you were standing on your feet, you wanted the crown of the head to be facing the floor. So wherever you are in this forward fold, just feel that there's a melting that happens. Okay. Okay, so I still have my feet a little bit flexed. If you need to let that go, there is, you know, it does change things. When you let the feet go, the hips open, and you might be able to let yourself go a little more. So you, you just kind of play, be curious, feel your breath. Good. Notice any tension in your jaw. Even as you let the lower jaw maybe drop, you might even be able to notice a little drop in your own hips. In the pelvic floor, as you rest your tongue. And then just see for yourself, maybe things have changed. So I always kind of love to take a little interlude in the pose. You come up and you re-lengthen. And then as you exhale, you just re-offer it and see if things have opened, maybe you can change a little something. Okay. If your hands can rest on your feet, you could take them there. And I just kind of use the heels of the hands to hold the toes. And then the fingers go on the, yeah. And so if that, if that works and it's comfortable, and then that's the next place. So let's we'll take a few more breaths here. So settle in any way you can. Notice anything that's coming up. Like if your head is saying, oh, I need to come out, then smile, release. And if you really need to come out, come out, of course. Sometimes that's the doorway. All right, and then very slowly bring yourself up and I'm gonna stay with the legs out, but if you need to re-bend, that's fine. Just be here for a few breaths. You can let your eyes close and just lifting the heart. Just feeling the legs settle. Okay, I'm gonna bend the right leg into Jada Shirshasana. I'm gonna take the hands to the heart. And then I'm just gonna lift it up because that is more fun. <laughs> Turn it out. And then you kind of find your tree pose here as best as you can. If you need to use your hands or you need to throw something underneath that, you know, support that. Good. And then see if you can just sit up nice and tall as best as you can. So we sit up tall and then I'll take the hands down. And then that's kind of like helps. <laughs> okay, drop your gaze to look at your left toes. And then just soften into that right hip a little bit for a moment. We're gonna take a side bend. So the left hand's gonna stay on the floor, the right arm is coming up as you inhale. And as you exhale, we're just gonna crescent over to the left. Feel free to walk your left hand out. If it's too much, you don't have the arm up, you could take it down. Okay, oh, that actually feels amazing. I took the hand down into the hip crease and just pushed that hip away for a moment. You know, maybe I'll even open the chest a little bit and then I'll take the arm up and over and maybe that might feel really nice for you too. And one more breath. And then we'll just go to the second side. So just take your arms up nice and slow, you know, almost like it's this meditative dance. Reach up and then crescent over to the right side. 
Okay, I'm going to add the left toes and just turn them out. And that's going to open that hip. Maybe you'll get a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to turn this into twist. So as I come back upright, I'm going to bring those left toes back up. Take the left hand cross and the right hand behind and just turn. And it's not going to be a huge turn. I mean, you might. I'm trying not to lift the left hip. What I am going to do is extend the left leg. So as I push the left leg away, then the left hip comes forward and that's going to give me more space to turn. Good. Okay, if you feel okay here, you're, you feel like you can take that right hand off the floor without affecting your twist. I'm going to take the back of the right hand just behind and I kind of use that to open that right shoulder. Good inhale. And exhale, release. Take your hands and just space that left foot. I'm pulling the left leg back because I did stretch it out for the twist. Now I take it back. Okay, we're gonna come forward. So inhale, sweep your right arm up, look up. And as you exhale, reach for that left foot and you'll know where you need to stop. But if you can grab that foot, you know, same thing, heel, you know, that's where it goes. And it's just that melting into any discomfort. I'm gonna tell you another thing I'm doing inside here is I come into this forward fold. I'm pulling that, the left leg is not moving, but the action is from the heel, I'm pulling all the way to the left hip. I'm just really anchoring that leg. And that is gonna also bring the right hip a little bit forward, not enough that you can see it, it's just all happening inside. If that doesn't make sense, don't, you can just let it. Let it just flow off to the ether. Good. Okay. Now I'm just letting everything soften into the shape, the jaw, the hips. Be kind to yourself. Come out whenever you need or use that as an entryway. Good. All right. And then we'll come up just as you're ready. You know, if you're like, wait, I'm just getting in, let's taper longer. As you just come up. Gonna sit for a moment. Okay, I'm just gonna add the next one. We did this in class the other day where we take the leg over. And this, you know, can be a lot. So you make it, if that's too much, you know, go back here. I am gonna for, fold forward. So if this is better or this is better, you know, you you those are all your different variations. Okay, if you can take it out, then I take my hands down, I'm gonna lift the hips up and scooch the tush back, like as if I'm taking those thighs back and even just lifting your hips, you know, it just can be good. <laughs> yes, okay, and then just be here. I said we're gonna fold forward, but if you're feeling enough here, you might just drop your head. And whenever you feel ready, friends, just take some walk in, wherever you stop, you stop. And you be with the sensations. You know, as I come forward, I'm going to take, I can grab that foot. So I'm just going to put the right hand down first, put the left hand on top. But if that's too much for your back or anything, you know, it's all options. Good. Okay. If this takes you out, like if it's too much, you can't focus on the melting of the left leg. Then just back out. Leave with the breath. And then we'll just come out of this. You know, I always feel like I want to grab. I'm going to take the leg out. I'm not going to say I always feel like. Let's just do it. <laughs> grab right. And if you need to bend your left leg, do that. Take it out. We love this. Find your balance. Find your sparkle. Good. And then I'm going to just release the leg. I'm going to bring it into Baddha Konasana. No hands. Just for fun. Hands at your heart. I'm going to push the soles. If you need to lift your knees, do that. Lift yourself. Good. And then from here, let's just John your second side. So the right leg will extend. And the left leg will come in. Again, I'm not using my hands, but you can. And then release the hands to the floor and just be here. Second side. Okay, again, I'm looking at the right toes. I'm going to spread them out. That always gives me a thrill. It wasn't something I could do for a very long time. <laughs> and it's good for your foot. Widen your foot. Okay, I'm just going to take the right hand to this right thigh and just 
Ah, you can just relax. Everything's good. All right. Okay. And then just to let everything settle, we're going to go to the side bend on the right with the right hand down. So you'll reach the left arm up. Now I'm going to do this. As you exhale, take your hand to the left thigh, left hip crease. Start to push that down as you just press it away. The right hand can walk out. And once you feel, oh yeah, this is it. Then take that left arm up and over if that's where you're going. And just really stretch through your left side. Good. One more breath. And then we'll just flow up and over to the other side, gracefully and lovingly, just crescent over. And this time as I reach that right arm over, I'm gonna take the right toes and just drop them out to the right as a way of just opening into the hip crease, get a little bit more there. Good, okay, inhale. Now as you exhale, you're gonna turn it into twists. So I'm gonna start by lifting the right toes, take the right hand to find this left knee, and then just walk the left hand behind. And you might notice, you know, as you come in, it's not as open as you'd like. So if you take that right leg and just push it away, that might give you a deeper twist. Good. Take one more breath. And slowly release. I'm going to bring the hands to the heart. As I come back, I'm pulling the right leg in. It's going to look at the right toes. And we're going to come to forward fold. So the right hand can come down. And as you inhale, reach the left arm. And as you exhale, just offer wherever your pose is. I go so slow. So you feel, oh, that's it. And then maybe that's it. And the head drops or you reach. And then just lower, put the hands wherever you need for support here. So be playfully curious. And now I'm in the forward fold. What I'm doing here is really just melting. And think of dropping your tailbone anchor, the back of your thigh anchor, and be with your breath. The head, the more you release the head, you know, I'm, I'm going to say that deepens the stretch. It doesn't mean, you know, you need to you just be aware of that. The more I drop my head, the more sensations arise. Good. All right. And then when you're ready, friends, we'll just slowly come out. I'm just going to sit for a moment again, just to feel. Okay. Now let everything soften the thighs. The, tush and I'll take the right hand over. I'm going to bring this across and you do what you need to do. Prop up as you need. Make it lovingly and kind. And then take a moment and like I said, you know, I'll just say it again. You might be here and that might be perfect and you just drop the head and you're like, I'm good. So I'll start with the head drop and just slowly let the pose unfold for you wherever it goes. And just walk your hands, drop your head. Smile, breathe, okay, and if you can reach that foot, I'm going to take the left hand first, and I'm going to put the right hand on top, but as soon as you take the hands off the floor, you know, things change, so be curious and interested, and just because it happened on one side doesn't mean it's going to be great on the other side, so just be very open, whatever you're experiencing, listen to it. And then breathe all over into all those places, into the softening, into the awakening, into the lengthening. Good. Okay. And then releasing your hands and slowly come up. And we're going to take that leg on the other side. So once you're up, left hand comes over, grabs that left heel, just ta-da, wherever it goes. Maybe the right hand comes off and maybe it doesn't. 
you know, maybe the light comes out and maybe it stays bent. Just be glorious. <sighs> Look at me. I am, say your age. <laughs> I'm 52. Yay, okay. Didn't think it would be like this, right? Bring your hands together. Stretch the legs out. Sit up tall. If you need to put your hands on the floor, do it. We're gonna do one last forward fold here. So as you exhale, just take it into this, whether you have a, you know what, this most challenging of all forward folds is this one. Because the backs of our legs as a, you know, are tight. Backs of our knees, everything that happens here. Okay, just before we leave this, I'm just gonna play with cat cow here. So my hands are on the floor. You just push your floor, your hands forward, take the belly back. You can even move back, chin in, and then you might pull the floor and lift your chin and just, you know, in whatever way this happens for you. If you need to bend your knees, just like forward fold, honor that. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pull myself forward. Last forward fold, go wherever you need. Maybe the hands can come to the feet, maybe not. Good. Okay. And then I'll just take the hands back to the hips. Roll yourself up. Good. All right, guys. So you can bring your legs in and whatever you need to do is a lot for the legs. And we're going to do one more. So we are going to set up for Shavasana. I'm going to offer leg up the wall and we're going to go right to the wall because your legs are so open. You can use the bolster. Okay, so if you don't like this pose or it's not for you, you just go ahead and set up for Shavasana. Okay, I have the strap. And if you want your socks or anything to cover yourself, your eye pillow, get that. Okay, so the bolster is a little bit away from the wall. What I want to have happen is this, everything we've been working on is going to happen here. So I sit on the bolster and I'll just, you know, swivel myself around, get the hips close to the wall and come down. So that once you get to this legs up the wall, I want, if, if this works for you, you know, if it's no good, you make it your own, as with everything. My, the bolster is really on the small of the back, and I can feel like if I take the hands down, my little fleshy tush part here, and the sit bones are falling off. So that's going to encourage the thighs, the backs of the thighs to lengthen and to just, all of that work is all coming in here. So if this works for you and you're comfortable, great. You could also belt the legs. You know, we're gonna be here for about, oh, uh, well, if you're gonna do this for Shavasana, you know, I will give you time to also lie flat for a few, but you could just belt the legs. You could also just take your blanket and wrap the legs, or you don't need anything, you know, if you're comfortable. Okay, I'm just gonna wiggle my tush a little closer to the wall. I just want to invite in more of this hanging. Okay, but if it's no good, it's no good. I'll just say that every time a million times. So you honor yourself. Okay, and then we'll just cover up if you need. You want your eye pillow. Once you're settled, just let the pose do the work. So nothing to do but just Rest into the shape. Okay, if your back isn't happy or anything that you notice, just soften into that place. Rest here.
And if you're happy and legs up the wall, you can stay here. If you'd like to transition to lying down in Shavasana, just take your time and adjust yourself as you need to. Staying as you are. If you would like to just be in your rest for longer and stay there. And starting to feel your breath, flow of your breath. And let that be your guide. You start to move through the fingers and the toes, the ankles, the wrists. And stretching your arms over your head if you like, and pressing your heels away. And you belted your legs, whatever you did, just gently removing, just resting for a breath or two, the knees into your chest. Whenever you're ready, friends, you just roll to your side. And you can stay on the bolster even under your hips for a few if you have it there. And if you come up to sitting, you might perch on the bolster with your back against your wall, if you like that. Let's come into your seated posture and taking some time to just be with that for the present moment. Just resting in your stillness into your transitioning from your rest to awake. Staying with your breath as you inhale and as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart and bow your chin. And just breathe into all that you are. In your next inhale, lengthen tall, lift your chin and exhale this breath. And, and I'll just pause here. You know, if you'd like to turn on gallery view, you don't have to, but if you'd like to do that, you can do it now. <laughs> And then, yeah, perfect, lovely guys. Then we can see each other. Even if you don't have your camera on, it's all fine. <sighs> Good, nice. And we will seal this practice with our may we be blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy. May we be happy. Seal that with one ohm. Inhale. Oh. And bow your chin. Om Shanti. Om Peace. Om Namaste. Take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Plant all of your dreams, your love, your manifesting, your calling in, your tenderness. And then lifting your chin and opening your eyes and offer this to your own heart and to yourself. And then we'll offer it out to each other, to our hearts and beyond, beyond, beyond. Yes, I feel your prayers. We send them out. 
And with great love, guys. Namaste. Thank you so much for playing yoga with me today. So much love, guys. And we'll see you on Sunday. And I'm going to send out an email probably today or tomorrow. We do a live get together practice on Monday night if you're interested. And so we'll see you guys soon. Love you all. Have a great day. Night, guys. Night. <laughs> Good morning. I mean, happy day. <laughs> see you guys.